this in what may have been the last bill signing of his administration. President Obama has approved a massive bipartisan medical research bill. The 21st Century Cures Act, a $6 billion bill, will increase funding for some of the nation's top health priorities. One section of that bill that allocates $1.8 billion to cancer research was named for Vice President Biden's son, Beau. The Attorney General of Delaware died from brain cancer in 2015. His death has inspired what the White House calls its cancer moonshot. During the bill signing ceremony yesterday, the vice president channeled his grief into hope. God willing, this bill will literally, not figuratively, literally save lives. But most of all, what it does, just this mere signing today, Mr. President, as you know better than I do, gives millions of Americans hope. Every day, millions of people are praying, praying for hope, praying for time, praying that somehow something will happen just to extend them. They're not, they're not even praying for cures most of the time. Those of you who are doctors in the audience, how many times have you heard a patient say, Doc, can you just give me just three more weeks so I can walk her down the aisle? Or just give me another two months. It's my first grandbaby. I want to see him or her born. The bill also authorizes funding for other health-related initiatives, including $1 billion for substance abuse treatment, specifically targeting heroin and opioid addiction. Well, this is something that we can actually celebrate yeah. uh, both sides coming together on. Um, we spend so much, <laughs> so much money uh, on our defense budget. We spend... I, you know, for, for a decade, it seemed we were spending $2 billion a week in Afghanistan. This is an investment. No. Uh, and we are at the cusp of some extraordinary groundbreaking uh, cures. But, you know. And also in a situation where people are living not as long and our, our next generation isn't doing as well. So it's so important. I mean, there, there, we, we have some remarkable opportunities in front of us. Uh, you have a friend, obviously, Mika, that yeah. has pancreatic cancer. That should not be a death sentence. We should do, do, do more research into that. I've got a mother that suffers from dementia. So many people have adults, that, uh, parents, and, and friends and loved ones that suffer from dementia. Uh, this, is, this is actually a great investment. And, and if that is Barack Obama's last signed bill, it's a great one to end with. And a great and productive use by President Obama of a great vice president and Joe mm -hmm. Biden. There could be no better voice. There could no be better no voice. better face for this movement. If you, if you talk to Joe Biden about, about not just this piece of legislation, but just about cancer research over the last year, two years, you go to some place like Sloan Kettering here in New York City or Dana-Farber in Boston, the advances in cancer research just in the past two years have been incredible, and they now promise that there will be even more given the uh, research money that's going to be available under this. We need it. No. Up next, the outgoing Secretary of Health and Human Services, Sylvia Burwell, is here on set. She hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.